Hello everybody, welcome back to FIFA 23. It is Monday. Yeah, I disconnected from my last match. Thank you, EA. Um, EA have released 81 and 82 plus player picks. But because I only had really had comments, I'm just doing 20, 81 player picks. So, we're going to go ahead and do these 20. And in the, after these 20, I'm going to also do a video. Along with this video, I'm going to do the community team of the season voting and i'm gonna show you what i voted for for the community team of the season so uh be on the lookout for that and we're gonna open these ones first so let's go ahead and get this open and see if we pack a trophy titan uh first off the 83 okay and i should get at least a good amount of fodder out of it yep and there we go i should get a good amount of fodder out of the these 20 because these are pretty cracked apparently there we go an 84 mason mount I haven't seen I haven't seen Mason Mount play in a little while in a long while already. I don't even know where he's been. Nice Gnabry. Uh off to a good start so far. Uh plenty of 83s, 84s. It's a good amount so far. Hey, wow, 85s. Look at that. See these these are pretty cracked. Not gonna lie, man. These these player picks are pretty good. Really, really good. There's Tillemans, nice. This is some good fodder. Good fodder. Kovacic, yes. I'll take another 84. Why not? Next up. Okay, there's the first little dud. But an 82 is what it is. What it is. Uh, 83, nice. Hey, so long as the minimum... So long as the minimum is 83, I should be okay. Uh, oh, look at that. Harry Kane. Massive. Massive. There's Drius Mertens. I'll take him. Why not? Good old Drius Mertens. Uh, Carlos Soler, he's a duplicate. I'm going to have to use him somewhere. Next up, there's an inform, Buenaventura. Nice. All right, now we got six more to go. Can we pack a Titan? Uh, we'll have to see. Uh, whether it be Hero or whether it be... Ooh, there we go, 86 Gabriel Jesus. Nice. All right. Kovacic again. I'll, ha I'll have to take him again. I'll put him into an SPC. Uh, what else do we got? Ooh, there's another dud. Two more to go. Give me a trophy titan, baby. Come on. Uh, Lorenzo Insigne. And the last one. Hey, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. It is a lower uh, Del Piero, but hey, a trophy titan is a trophy titan. So we will take that. 88 rated trophy titan so yeah those are, those are pretty good picks not gonna lie uh it's not a it's not a bad round of picks plenty of good fodder all right and now i'm gonna cut to the community team of the season voting be right back okay guys so we are here at the community team of the season vote um plenty of interesting options here um uh, and you know we're about to see which ones I prefer so we're about to make the list right now so let's go ahead and get started with the goalkeepers of course we have the options of De Gea, Sommer, Lafont. Um, I mean it has to be De Gea I think I don't think there's any other goalkeeper that can match up with De Gea at least for now Sommer is a really good shout though not gonna lie for defenders um, Danilo had a great season uh, Kim and Jay, absolutely, automatically. Kim and Jay, if you don't have Kim and Jay in your team of the season, you have not been watching football, not gonna lie. Um, uh, but Danilo is a bit of a, a bit of a question. Um, you can either go Ake okay, or you can go, um, you can, you can go a bit of Robertson, why not, a little bit of Bartra. Um, but for now, I will go with Kim and Jay, Danilo. Otamendi was pretty uh, pretty good for Benfica. And I'm pretty sure a lot of people want to go with Ake. So I'll include Ake for the sake of for the sake of just including. So look at that. Full line of center backs. I'm pretty sure they're not gonna have a full line of center backs, but Kim and Jay for sure better be in there. That, that's just me. Alright, for the midfield. Um this is a tough one. Because there's plenty of good midfielders. Now, I will say, 
Uh, as far as meta goes, Thurm is definitely an option, so that's a good one. That's our first start. Um, as for who deserves that other two, okay, the next spot will be Zielinski because he's uh, he's my bias pick. Uh, I'm a Napoli fan, and that per that link will work perfect. Uh, as for the midfielder that I think will deserve to be a, to have a spot there, I'm gonna go with a bit of a surprise. I'm gonna go with Anderson Taliska. Now Anderson Taliska is gonna be uh, had a is having a great season even before Ronaldo arrived at Al Nassar. So I think he's going to be a great uh, option, right? So there we go. That's my midfield, Thurum, Anderson Taliska, and Zielinski. So there we go. For attackers, now this one's a bit more tougher um, because I, I want to do it based on performance, but you also got to think about the meta of EA as well. So you kind of want to think about stuff like this. As for who deserves it, Gonzalo Ramos is my first one. Gonzalo Ramos has had an amazing season with uh, Benfica. Really good, uh, really good amount of um, playing time and assists. So I give him that. Uh, the other player that I think should get based on performance is Jota. For is Jota. Jota, seeing Jota play, uh, or uh, at least looking at his stats, he had, I believe, he had like 10 goals, 11 assists, out of like 20 some games, and I mean that's really impressive. And the fact that he has five-star skill moves which makes him a really, really strong uh, winger in the meta. So, definitely deserves that. Um, and I think the last spot I want to give it to... I don't want to give it to Rodrigo. He has not been playing a lot. I don't think he will. He should get a one. He should get one, I think. Gabby Jesus is a good shout. And Delafield as well. But if we're going based on performance... I'm going to say... I honestly think Alexis Sanchez performed better than both Delafell and Gabriel Jesus and Rodrigo especially. Um, I know he already has a card. I know he already has his um, his foot fantasy. Uh, but it's so tough. I don't know. Okay, for the sake of for the sake of not repeating cards, I'm not going to choose Sanchez. Instead, I'm going to go with Gabriel Jesus, um, just for a little bit, right? He's played very. He's starting to play very well. He's always he's pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, and yeah, he's a pretty good option. Um, but yeah, I think that's my votes. Defenders are a bit is a bit questionable. I could go for Robertson or I could go for Tavernier. Uh, Jitrula has been amazing for Feyenoord, and Feyenoord are in first place. So you know, uh, the reason I didn't choose Disasi is because he already has a foot birthday, and don't know much about everybody else. So. Trimble could be a good one too. Trimble's been pretty good. Um, but yeah, I think that's my that's my vote for team of the season for my community team of team of the season. Do you guys agree, or do you guys uh, want to kill me in the comments for that? So it's up to you guys. Um, let me know about it in the comments below. Let me know who you voted for for the team of the season community. And uh, yeah, with that being said. Um, leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you all next time. See ya.